in the great state of Texas, between Dallas and Fort Worth, in the sleepy little town of Irving, near the corner of Shady Grove and Story, we visit the CC's Pizza. The first arcade game we played here is Big Buck Hunter. Now, this is being played by one of my son's friends, who's uh, cleverly using the nickname of Sky. The game is basically a very interesting hunting game, where instead of using a rifle, you use a pistol to try and take down Buck. Now, anyone who's been hunting might have some uh, questions about the realism of this game. That and the fact that you get multiple shots as the deer try and run away. And anyone knows that uh, occasionally shooting a deer really doesn't go that way. Luckily, it doesn't include any of the messy uh, skinning uh, and or disemboweling, so... Moving on! We move on to Sharpshooter, which is... Uh, looks a lot like Police Trainer. Now, this, of course, was broken, so we quickly moved on to the next game. Although my son did admirably try and play it, uh, he was the three-year-old, not the nine-year-old. But he had some fun and uh, tried to shoot. The last functioning cabinet there was Centipede, Missile Command, and Millipede. Now, Millipede's suitable for all ages, which the funny thing of that is that that actually still has DDT in it, which I believe has been outlawed in n nearly everything. Now, once again, uh, my son's friend is filling in, and he's playing here Centipede. Now, all of these games factor in one thing that home consoles just haven't been able to duplicate, and that is the rollerball. For whatever reason, uh, short of the one that came with the Atari 2600, it just hasn't worked. Uh, centipede is centipede. It is beautiful in this form. Millipede I didn't record because it's just centipede with the DDT, like I mentioned. Now, Missile Command, this is a game that we can all get behind. It was the Red Scare. We were all afraid of incoming missiles. And while Sky didn't quite get the, uh, the idea here until just now, and even then he only understood there was one button, I can't fault him for that because this game came out in an era where there was only one button. And suddenly, the, the freaks who decided to make this game put three buttons on it and just screwed all of us up. Well, that's it for us. Uh, as always, I am Jack Lair, and play on!